Okay, so non-repeated irreducible quadratic factors. Now, when we're labeling these, it's always talking about the denominator on them. Um, so apparently non-repeated isn't a word, but it means they're distinct, right? Okay. Irreducible. That means you have quadratic factors that don't factor over the set of integers. Okay, so that's what they mean by irre irreducible. Okay, so let's, and they're quadratic factors. So we'll give you an example. So let's say you have something like, what else? 3x plus 7 over, and I'll just make 1, x squared plus x plus 2. Okay? This would be a non-repeated, because there's only one of them, it's just the one factor. It's irreducible, you can't factor that quadratic, um, and it's just the one factor. Okay? So this has no excitement to it. Okay, so I have to have another one. x squared plus 4x plus 2. Oh, okay, that's another one that's a quadratic factor, but it's not reducible. Okay? means this doesn't factor. So how do you set this up? Well, you're going to have two denominators here. One with the x squared plus x plus 2, and the other one with the x squared plus 4x plus 2. Now, here's the difference, though. The denominator is quadratic. It's not linear this time. So the numerator has to be a degree less, but it could be a linear factor. So you're going to say ax plus b for one linear numerator, and the other one would be cx plus d. Okay? So that would be the setup for that problem. Now I'm not going to do that problem. I just made that up. Now here's the general notation. So if you have p of x over q of x, and it's following these rules where you have distinct irreducible quadratic factors, and we don't know how many you have, so you have n factors, then it's going to be um, a sub 1 x plus b sub 1 over whatever your a1 x squared plus b sub 1 x plus c sub 1 plus, and then the next one would be a sub 2 x plus b sub 2 over your next linear factor, or quadratic factor, a sub 2 x squared plus b sub 2 x plus c sub 2. And you keep doing that. You follow the pattern with the subscripts until you get to your last one, which in this case would be a sub n x plus b sub n over a sub n x squared plus b sub n x plus c sub n. Okay? So that would be the general form for that.